Am I able to change the strings of the guitar? Here I am to help you with this stuff. Cine music. I'm gonna do this video. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to uh, change the strings. And later in the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some tips for you to uh, when changing the, the, the strings and many things, many uh, like little things that makes huge difference. Uh, so uh, if you wanna know all of that, just keep in tune up to the end. For your safety, you're going to place the guitar in this position and then you're going to start to, to spin. So you're going to spin in this direction in this case that the guitar we have the tuning pegs in this way you're going to do in this way oh, oh. in this direction so you can play to see if it's doing this way so oh yeah can you see when it's almost in the end you don't need it to spin up to the end. You just come to here and you try to remove it using your hands. Be very careful with your finger because it's very common uh, you to damage uh, your finger. Uh, like it's be very careful. So see. I mean, trying to remove it with my hand. Uh, sometimes going to do it and uh, it's gonna be easier. Sometimes won't be easy. So in this case, don't force with your hands because if it's not coming out, don't force. Uh, so uh, you, I'm going to explain to you later how you're going to remove them all. So don't leave the guitar in this position because if the string breaks, it's gonna come to your face. So we took this, the, the string five, six, now the five. So we're going to do the same process, oh, oh, oh. turning to the right way. So spin it in this way. Be careful with your fingers. Yeah, be careful. Oh, 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 do, see, see. So go to the end of the string and for you avoiding damage yourself okay so it's like the serpent you have to be very careful and the string is the same yeah the string might bite you <laughs> so yeah the next one so you have it to spin it so done now almost in the end i'm going to do it always i'm going to do it this way so if you want to spin up to the end so it's up to you i prefer doing this way because i'm going to save time okay so now this one so leave the guitar in this position Now, no, it's not time. Place it in the right position again. And now we're gonna go again. Don't forget to spin it in the right way. Now, okay, these strings, thinners, uh, so it's more dangerous to uh, to hurt you. So be very careful. So we're going to try to remove in this way. Be very careful. Very careful for not injuring yourself. Okay. As I said about the serpent. Uh, so the serpent tries to bite you and the string as well. So. Oh, probably you're gonna hurt yourself probably but like don't be afraid because otherwise you're going to be traumatized so now do step by step for avoiding uh, hurt yourself
remembering as I said, as thinner the string, it's more dangerous to hurt you. So be very careful. Now, now we have all of the strings removed from the tuning pegs. So now it's the time of the bridge. Uh, so first of all, what you can't do, what you can't do. I'm here with the pliers. So I'm going to use it. Can I use it? Oh, actually, I don't advise you. You can because the guitar belongs to you. But I don't advise why. Because if you use the pliers, you're going to damage the bridge of the guitar. And you're going to damage as well this little piece. So don't do it. Oh, see, see. Even if I try to be very careful, it's going to damage. So don't do it, do not do it. I just did it for you to see that you're going to, uh, you're going to do it quicker, easier, but you're gonna damage your guitar, don't do it, okay? You're going to see actually this piece of the guitar is like this screw uh, that's gonna be placed, placed in this way and it's, it's locked in that way. So before I'm going to use my hand to, to identify where is that? Oh, I found it, I found it, yeah. A little detail, if your guitar is stopped for many times, many years, don't place your, your hand inside of this place. Why? Because probably going to have some uh, insects. What I advise you is to take uh, a fan. Yeah, so you're going to take a fan or a hairdress and then you're going to put some air inside. And then if there, if there is something inside, they're going to come out. So if your guitar is not stopped for a long time, so that's okay. I'm going to use this object. So you can use whatever that it's better for you. So now you're going to press them up. So you're going to press this. The, yeah, can you see? I pressed. All of them came out. Can you see? All of them. So for this guitar, it was easy. Now I'm going to remove these pieces. So can you see? It's like the teeth, the teeth. Be careful for not losing them. So this one is a bit harder to be removed. So I'm going to press, I'm going to press, I'm pressing. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So done. One, two, three, four, five, six. I put it in a safe place. So I'm going to place it here. Can you see it? So I put there. Now I'm going to remove the strings. So just uh, this string is put by here. So you're going to remove from here. Actually, if the strings that you are changing is still good to be used, keep them. Why? Because if you keep them, uh, if if later one of the strings of your guitar breaks, you're going to have another one to substitute. But if it's very like damaged or rusty, throw it away. So we have some strings that don't want to come out. So what should I do? I'm going to remove from the other side. So I'm going to push it. I'm going to remove in the other side. Oh, can you see? Now I'm going to put there. Be careful if you have kids around because if the kids are going to take the strings, they're going to take it, they want to play with that, they're going to hurt themselves. So be very careful. We have some strings very rebellious. They don't want to come out. So now is the time to put the strings. Actually, uh, I'm going to start from string six, from the thickest to the thinnest. So I'm going to put one by one. So I'm gonna uh, put the guitar in tune only after all of the strings been put, because I see that it's better. We have some people who are going to put the guitar and put it in tune, but I prefer to put all of the strings first, and then I'm gonna uh, put in tune all of them at once. Uh, we have strings that we have the identification in the pack for be easier for you to place the guitar. But some of them won't have any identification. But the important 
is for you to start from the thickest to the thinnest in this way. I won't say to you, ah, use this color, use this number. I won't say that to you because we have a different makers, okay? So probably it's for me in one way and for you in the different way, okay? I'm going to do it this way. So can you see? So this piece, I'm going to place my string first. This piece here, we're going to have a little part opened. I don't know if you can see it. If you could see that, there is no problem. This little part that is open going to be directed to the front because it's going to embrace the string. So I'm going to press with my finger. Done. This one is done. Now you have to press really strong, okay? Now you're going to put the string there. If the string is very big, Usually, I used to like to cut the string because I don't like the string very big, okay? So, this string is the string 6. It's going to come to the first tuning pack. Okay, can you see? So, it's going to start here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take from the tuning pack, I'm going to use uh, four or five, five fingers and I'm going to cut it. Why do you cut it, Simei? Otherwise, it's going to be very big for you to spin, 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 and it's, you're going to spend so much time. So, I don't want to have many work, so I'm going to facilitate my work. So, so can you see? This is the advantage. We have a disadvantage. In everything in life, we have advantage and disadvantage. So, the disadvantage is if you are putting this, this, uh, this string in tune. If this string breaks, you have to throw it away because you won't have space to reuse it again. But if this string is not cut, if that uh, breaks, you're going to be able to reuse it again. I'm going to start to do it here. I'm going to bend it. Bend it. Why? Because it's easier. Because it's going to lock. So you can start to spin it. Oh, can you see the right way to spin it? You can do it. And dun, 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 until workout. I used to save time. How? I'm going to do it in this way. Be careful with your finger for not hurting yourself. Now, not anymore. So now I'm going to start to spin it. Now I can stay with the guitar positioned, laid down this way. That is no problem. I can look until a certain point. When I get up to the end here, I place it in the hole where it should supposed to be. Okay, okay. Don't press more, okay? Leave it to put it in tune later. So you have to check, you have to check again. Yeah, put the guitar in this way and you're going to press. Oh, can you see? Oh, it was removed. So always you have to check, double check, because when you double check, you're going to be sure if you don't check it, probably the guitar going to be removed this way. So, and can damage you. So I'm going to press it again. Can you see? It's very important for you to double check. Press, press, and yeah, lock it. Okay, so now I'm going to put it again. Don't forget to double check. Don't check in with the guitar in this position. Doing this way, can you see? It's not pressing strongly. Just like checking this way. Okay. Done. It's done. Now I'm gonna go to the next string. I'm going to see 
which string is thinner. The process is the same. I'm going to place first the string. So I'm going to put it there. So I'm not, it's not able to get in. So what should I do? You're going to put in this way. You're going to, oh, can you see? So you're going to put in the right hole. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, it, it, this is another way to put the guitar. So sometimes it's gonna be easy to put to be put. Other times, no. So you have a different ways of putting the string. So put in this way, in this side. Press, press well. Now you're going to start the process again. So the string is bigger. What should I do? I'm going to cut it. From the tuning pegs, I'm going to use four or five fingers. Now press. Now I use the plier. If you don't want to cut it, that is no problem, okay? So it's up to you. So I'm gonna bend it already. So can you see? I'm bending. Now, can you see? I'm going to start to spin the string. Be careful to use the spinning in the right way. So I'm going to facilitate my life. I'm going to save time, so I'm going to do it. So now I'm going to start spinning again. Oh, can, can it spin in one way and the other? No, actually it's better to use always the same position. So here, you have to double check. Do you remember about that? Oh, yeah, pull out a bit just to make sure that it's okay. Okay, done. Next, next, yeah. Remembering from the thickest to the thinnest. If the string doesn't want to get in, I use this, uh, this object to put, okay? So you can put in that way or you can press this piece, okay? We have some people who prefer to put all of these strings here in the bridge first and then later put in the tuning pegs. So I prefer that you go, if you are a beginner, go step by step. So press here. If you need, if you need sometimes to press, uh, to check uh, if it's okay, Use an object, don't hammer, don't hammer, okay? I'm going to cut a little part of this string because I like to do it to facilitate my work. But if you don't want to do it, it's up to you. So it, like the average of four, four or five fingers from the tuning pegs, this is a good measure. The string has to come in this way, okay? Remembering, always live in the right place, in the same way, in this side. You're going to have a little mark. The guitars that are older, you're going to have the little mark. But if the guitar is a new one, you won't have the mark but leave the right position, the right measure. So take this piece, I'm going to put the string and I'm going to press. I put it. So remembering that the rip has to be, uh, has to face the string. Press with your finger, or if you don't want to use your finger, you can use uh, an object, yeah, and you can just press, yeah, in this way. Don't press so strong. Otherwise, 
when you're going to remove these strings, it's going to be very tough. I cut usually four or five fingers uh, from the tuning bag, so I'm going to cut it with the pliers. It's okay. So now we're going to place the cord in the hole. So I'm going to do it this way. So now you're going to do it this way. Oh, oh. In this direction. Because the, the string has to come in this way. Oh, pa. I'm going to do in this way. But with more care. Because this string is thinner. And it's going to have the possibility of hurting me more than the others. Remember me always, you have to double check, okay? Pull a bit the string just to check. Don't leave the guitar in this position for not come to your face if the string come out. Sometimes this piece is going to be one higher than others. Is it common? It can happen, it can happen. Uh, like. It's better if they're going to be all in the same highest. But sometimes it won't be. So that's okay. Now we're gonna put the string. I'm going to press it. Okay. Some of the guitars, the, the hole going to be narrower. Uh, if you are trying and not working out, so use another object don't use this one for not damaging, okay? Remembering the rip going to be always facing the string. So now let's go to them. I'm going to cut the string, but it's up to you to cut yours or not. I'm going to place it here. I'm going to lock it. So for me to save time, I know that it has to come in this way. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to do it in this way. Be careful with the finger for not being hurt. Now I'm going to place it here. So this is this the right rotation. Now we're gonna go to the fourth string. I started from the thickest to the thinnest. So we string one, two, three, four, five, and six. I start from six. Now I'm going to finish with one. So I'm going to place the string. Always embracing. I'm going to press it. I, I forgot to, to check the string too. So I have to check. So now let's go to the tuning pegs. I'm going to cut this the right rotation always. So the string has to come in this way. Okay. Now it's all done. I'm going to double check. Yeah. Now it's ready to be put in tune. When should I change the strings of my guitar? Usually people just going to do it when the string gonna break. Oh, do, 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 do. oh I have to change the strings. Usually it's like that. But I'm gonna tell you, uh, uh, usually when you see that it's dirt, when you see that it's changed, because actually it's gonna change the sound if it's all the strings. Uh, you're gonna see the difference when we when you're going to change them uh, and uh, you're going to play wow the sound is amazing so don't wait for breaking the strings for you to change them it's better for you once that you see 
that it's dirt. Uh, when you pass your finger, when you pass your finger, oh, oh, dirt. Or if you take a toilet paper and you're gonna do it, when you see that it's dirt, it's time to change the strings, all right? So if you like this video, uh, leave your comment uh, and uh, share with others who needed to change the strings, so they, um, those who don't know it. And also, uh, usually people, when they went to change the strings, they used to take the guitar and bring to the to the teacher, used to bring to the, to the shop, uh, music shop, and say, oh, I needed to change the strings. So sometimes the teacher, sometimes uh, the shopping or your friend are gonna charge you for that and sometimes not. So it's depend on each person. So uh, it, this is something that you yourself, you are able to do it. Yeah, just be careful because sometimes you're gonna try to do it. You're gonna break some string. Yeah, be careful, be very careful to follow all of the steps to avoid it. Okay, uh, uh, but it, it can happen, it can happen. Uh, but don't be afraid with that. Oh yes, oh I don't, I won't do it. No, do it. The best way of learning is doing. So go through and uh, uh, you're going to understand more about your own instrument, okay? See me music.